Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So in previous video we were trying to organize these components like hero component, feature component, advertisement, footer, all these components, right? So if we try to see what this component will contain, right? Uh, from there we will understand because we already know we are using row column grid structure, right? So we can divide it into the two parts column md6 and column md5, right? After that, we can actually further divide. So let's talk about this first column in the row, right? Here again, it has a row. Inside row, you can actually divide it into the half and half, right? Then again, inside this particular row, we have this label and then there is a search bar, right? So everything is defined inside this container in a particular row having column six, right? This is how we can, we can just define it. And in the column 5, we have nothing but a single image. After that, we again have a row, right? Justify content center. This is a row which is divided into the column 3, column 3, column 3, right? And uh, there is a uh, margin, margin and padding will be added. And then there's a last is advertisement component, which is nothing but an image and some text in the left. So column MD5, column MD8. Column MD4 or column MD8, right? So this is the basic design of landing page. We will have these as a separate component. These will open the drawer. And here we will uh, create a separate component search bar. And these feature, this is the feature component. And these component are feature item component. So this gives us a visibility of creating atomic design of component where we have this whole page as a template. We are creating organism inside it and then we are creating the, uh, the items, smaller, smallest unit of the components inside it. Okay, if we start uh, writing this, so first we will write the hero component. So in hero component, we are not receiving any children because these are coming from the base template. You have to rectify it a little bit. So if you don't want it to introduce anything, then just create a fragment as a parent. Now inside this we can start writing our node code. So do class name we have to add is container fluid. And because we are covering the whole uh, screen, this is the container fluid which is a bootstrap class. And inside this we will create a division class row. Because everything inside this particular row, and then we can divide this into two two sections, column six, right, and I'm an auto. Now in this column MD six, you can see we are going to have these different different sections, right. First is the logo and then these buttons, the labels and search bar, right? So we can divide it into this particular column MD6. We are going to have a class name, division class container. We are going to create independent containers. Let's say this is for a logo. Let's call it for We have created this particular for logo. Similarly, we can have the further containers. And I mean, you can create a separate component like for the search bar, but this is how it will look like. And we need to have like a margin top and margin bottom. So we can isolate these components from one another. Right now we can have further can have division class row. Last name row and we are also going to introduce the style components here right and in the the row there are two sections only right in these two sections in the first one we have the logo and in the second one we have these two buttons right so this is the division class row we have the column one in the first column our auto and there are further classes and I there are other classes which we will add later if we need and here we are going to have the logo okay now let's talk about the styled component how they works and how we create them right this is a source 
and here we are going to have the logo of the swiggy i copied it from somewhere now let, let's try to understand these styled component how they work right so logo logo can be imported from the style component which i already have so we are importing all these style components uh, from this is hero banner right and i created all these styles component in one particular place like in the templates here we have landing page and inside landing page i think i created this landing dot style yes now these uh, what do you call them as a style components are nothing but the same tags right like this can be used instead of a div tag similarly you can actually create any tag here similarly i have created the logo or uh, the logo image right style component it is targeting to the html element image and these are two properties for this so if i import it there i can actually use this logo in the jsx because the styles are defined like that and the logo is not nothing but it is representing the image tag and these are some default properties it is having now after this logo we have these two buttons also so there is another div inside that we will define column okay, let me just copy this inside the same row we have another column which will take a two or three and here we have actually two buttons okay or we can actually divide it into the two set three set two three section one is the logo and first button and the second button okay and then these buttons are nothing but uh, we are going to have a separate components for them let's create a placeholder for now here we are going to have these separate separate buttons fine so here we just have created a, the plain header now what we need to do is this is the div is closed the first container in the second container what do we have is uh, we have some kind of a label and messages and all right this is the i'm talking about these are just uh, h1 h2 labels so we can just put that inside a container so i can say so there is already a container we have created so inside this we will just put this this is for logo this is for the labels and we can format it a little bit fine so now we got the second container with the labels now this search bar search bar itself can be a separate component right so we have to create a search bar component for this and then search bar can be an item component which we already have created right and after that there is a random some labels which we can skip for now and then after this once this is closed uh, row column 6 there is a column 5 and in the column 5 we have the label right so what I will do is this is my row before my row is closed this is the column 5 and here we had just have uh, just banner right uh, right hand banner that i will just place it here and that this is also a kind of a style component here you can see we are using my image so we can import it from the style component and what my image is saying another image just a height and width are fixed and this is how of type image if you see this this is of type image and there are some style properties okay now after this we have this card container right this is another row another container which is divided into the three parts right so for that we can have the feature component there is a the feature component already created 
so we'll just create a this feature component and then we should be good with this okay if you need to have an access of props otherwise just create a fragment for this the only i will say not disadvantage but you will end up having a lot of components in this case when you try to have a atomic design right so here i have a division class name so i started with my row and we are writing the bootstrap kind of thing so it is pretty much straightforward after this uh, row and this is a container right i can actually divide this into whole section into the three parts column 3 column md3 ml2 these are bootstrap classes margin top 3 padding bottom 5 sorry okay so I, we can actually divide this whole section into the three parts one two and three right and in the first section it's nothing but a card right we can actually create a feature item component that will take care of this you just need to pass the props and we already have created a, a item for this so you can we can actually call that feature item component here that will take care of the responsibility of rendering this item with some data I mean you will be passing some uh, props based on that it will be rendering that okay I'm just creating these small small components to achieve this uh, atomic design structure okay now what else we left uh, I mean I will create this feature item component and then there is advertisement section and then there is a footer section right so what I will do is I will wrap up with these two three components and then we will see uh, we will just connect in the next video okay uh, thanks everyone